Feeling a little art craft crazy? Hi, I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy and today I'm going to show you how to make some teeny weeny tags. This one here is a purchase tag and I found these in my mum's stash. They are in the manila folder style colour that are these with the strings on them. And these ones here are even smaller again. So I've got that one here ready to make up with you today. We've got these ones that are a little bit bigger as well. Now she also had some pre-cut ones that I would think that she's used a die cut. And they are all of these ones that you see here this shape this one's a bit longer so it goes to there and i thought that they would make some nice miniature tags that could be added to a bigger tag so to start it off to make it really really easy but all i done was get this little blank square tag Coloured up the sides and I used these two colours, Tattered Rose and Abandoned Coral to get this colourway. Then I used the Vintage Photo on top and I got a row of like little daisies but I only coloured those two on the end. And then I just stamped it and that one's finished and it can take a piece of ribbon to go on the end or it can just be oh you know glued onto another tag or another in in a page it doesn't even have to be glued onto a tag it can be just glued onto anything now look at that that that's a manila tag and i've put the paper over the top to lose the tag shape but then push down the paper and the washi tape on the top and still got that that shape of the the um, the raised area from the hole so that just gives another pop of color now that there is actually a like a belly band so I've just put the two breads I've just put the two breads there so that's that one and what else have I done the same sort of style that one is just another stamp that's a, a memory stamp and that's a line stamp that I've got it's just such a very delicate line and I just stamped that on a piece of paper and glued it on so that one could also be used anywhere on another background that will make that pop this one here again I just colored the back of the the background of the tag i just used a a page that had some lines marked on it for writing on and i i just glued ripped that and glued that on and then just put a charm on it so that one's that piece and this piece here is just a piece of music sheet very sweet and very simple you could add something onto that you can add some word art onto that if you wanted to color it up you could do that first to make that show up you could put a miniature stamp on it so anything you've got that's little this one here is just another rubber stamp that if you can imagine that piece there being in a full square i just ripped off the corner and that is ready to just rip off and have it as a, a faux fringe and that can also be added any other thing that you want to add on to the top the same with that one that's ready to add any piece you like to the top okay so we'll go ahead and uh, finish a couple off so I'll finish this one off I've already threaded through the little charm on the string this is the tiniest tag that I've got and that's just a little off cut of the music paper that can be just glued onto the corner there so look how easy that is 
just a charm and a scrap piece of offcut and that looks really cute finished that one is so simple color up the edges if you want to or leave it plain depending on the background you're putting it on if you're going to put it on this background you would need to color it to make it pop but if you were putting it on a background that already had a fair bit of color you wouldn't need to color the edge okay this one is another one that I've got ready with the music sheet and this is just a, a clock face charm I'm going to glue that into place if your piece of music sheet or whatever you've got is irregular and it hangs over the edge like mine does just glue your tag and then place your paper over the top you need a strong glue for this sort of charm pop that into place I'm not going to squash it down too hard just yet I'm just going to let it grab first this glue does grab pretty quick and just let that sit there and again a long wide ribbon or a chunky piece of string would look good on that this is just a vellum leaf and that can pop on there as well I think that one would probably look good colored so we can color that one up if you think it needs more color to come into the center of the tag do what you normally do just bring it in gradually I always dab it onto the paper so I've got more control over the color it doesn't give me those harsh harsh lines and then come in especially on a small tag like this you just want that grad gradual line coming in because it's been damaged with that little blob of ink that I had on my finger I could still put that on there and use one of these word arts to go underneath and that would save that tag so it's not a wasted tag and the vellum being see-through I'll just put a little dob there so it's sort of free hanging there because I still want to be able to put some ribbon through there and once that's dry that will lift up so I can still put the ribbon through there so that's another one now we've got a little simple one here with the another this is a another stamp idea so again it was off cuts so I just ripped out the off cuts the whole idea of this is to be simple keep it simple so I've, I've used the cutoff area to come up and cover the a little bit of this the cut out there for the ribbon and that one's finished I don't know if you'd want to color the edge but I quite like it left plain until I'm ready to use it here's one that's a little off cut of a bingo card and I've got some medical gauze this is a medical gauze that just is normal that you get from the chemist and here's a piece that's colored so you can use either either glue that on if you want your tag to show up depending on what you're putting it on use a colored piece or a plain piece I'll just use a plain piece for this one squish it all down and then glue on the little bingo card no care given I'm just really roughing it here so that one is effective as well I've got another one here with a little bit of um, text it's just word art that I've printed out on the computer quite small and this time I'll put it straight on the letters so that I can control where it's going to go a little bit so that it doesn't spread out onto the tag because this stuff is pretty sticky and it'll make a mess everywhere so it says ancient wisdom so I'll just pop it on like that just try and slide it down a little tiny bit again you can color that up when you're ready to put it on what it is that you're ready to use this is the reason I'm doing this is just to get myself a little stockpile going 
Okay, now we've got some miniature butterflies here. These are so tiny. Anything miniature. So just search through whatever you've got for miniature things. This is a punch tool and it just punches out these tiny little butterflies. You can, if you want them colored, color your paper first and then just come in and put it through and punch it that way if you want it to have a color. And then you can either color your background or color your butterfly. And if you've done the edge with the same ink, because that's a vintage photo that I used as a background to do all these, you can always put the music sheet there. You could put anything that works as a background for that one. You could definitely use it as the single one, which I quite like. Just work out where you're going to put it and pop it there. I don't want to overdo this and I definitely will colour the edges of this. I'll rip those sides off when it dries. This time I'm going to put the glue on the back of the the word art so I've got a choice of where I put it because like I said this glue dries quite quickly. I do like things on an angle as well. Same with Madam Butterfly. Put that there like that. Now here's another just an additive to this. I got this out of, uh, we've got a pile of old 45 records and this was in one of the packets. It's the record by Loretta Lynn and this little tag was just in the packaging. So I'm going to put that in my journal and I made a tag to go with it and all I done was stamped it with this little arrow stamp and I got my Copic pen and I just freehand drew in black around the edge of the stamp and I used the tattered rose around the edge and stamped with the abandoned coral. So that matches that quite nicely and I've got a place for that in my journal. So there's uh, some really quick ideas on how to make up some teeny weeny tiny tags. I think they're adorable. I know you'll get some use out of them. I hope you get to make some soon. I'm Donna from Art Craft Crazy. Thanks for watching and bye for now. dreams I pick you up I just want to make it right I know all about the troubles want to drown into your eyes and feel your blue sky so deep in you I'm blinded by your bittersweet shine get what you need Chips we had our adventures, all the waterfalls and the wild waters, hanging off the cliffs, counting all the shadows, and now we're in the shadows. I want to feel your blue.
feel my blue sky.